Hello everybody, and welcome back to Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. I'm Titania Bird. Last time, we fought a stained glass hand, and uh, we shared a little song with our, our lovely uh, fairy friend, the Kerabos. This time, we're gonna carry on down the way. Ow! We were told to go to a uh, shrine for books, which I guess is, uh, I guess means a library. So uh, go through through the uh, li the uh, garden of shush here very briefly through uh, this transitional hallway. to the Towers of Twin Dragons. For those of you who are prone to vertigo, like me, um, I will let you know that this is a uh, kind of a pseudo 3D section, and uh, there will be some twisting around, so uh, be warned. Right, there's one of the uh, wolf men that uh, we were told to... Uh, worry about. I'm going to need attack power here right now. The Karabos is going to be uh, at her best when we have uh, the ability to have her heal us automatically. So uh, I'm going to stick to Bloodbringer for right now. Why am I going here? For that. Otherwise, we really just want to climb up that other tower. Suspiciously long shaft there, though. That's two wolfmen. I uh, love that thousand blossom. What I have in here as far as healing goes. Did I give those to Susie? I forget whether or not I gave those to Susie. I haven't eaten them yet. Oh well. Yeah, I'll go ahead and have my rice ball. Bugs! We got bugs! Big ol' wasp type bugs, too. Scythe mites, they're called. And I am poisoned, but I also got Summon Insect as a uh, Summon Shard. Fortunately, uh, we do have something to uh, help heal poison. We have the Mithridot. Mithridatl. Now I end up slipping behind here because those uh, platforms eventually fall, and we got a Hair Apparent Six. So we'll take that back to Todd at some point. You know, some, some people think that uh, Todd's haircutting style is a little buggy, but I, I don't know. I, I think it just works. Some more hemp. We got this amp, this uh, ampule here. All right, this is kind of your clock tower section. MP max up. Bit more magic. And Bloodbringer has like no chill. Mm. 
Uh, as you can see, poison condition uh, automatically uh, starts nibbling away at our health. Bloodbringer. Are you playing nice with the nice with the monsters? Sunglasses. Let's uh, see what that does for us. Uh, provides us uh, some protection from darkness. Uh, one defense, one intelligence. It is not as good as our dance mask. So we shall continue to dance. Seleno. Palette swap uh, of our uh, bird friend from the first area, Aiello. If we can get that to uh, give us a uh, shard, that'd be really, really nice because the uh, Celano shard is uh, pretty, pretty good. Bookshelf! There's certain doors that are open by holding Miriam's arm in front of it. Tilt right stick to choose direction. Yes, game, we know this. We know this because we had to use it to get out of the ship. As far as I'm aware, this is the only bookshelf that repeats information that we already knew. I mean, as long as you're not playing New Game Plus, these ways. Yeah, that's right, I can't go down yet. I'm not from here yet at all, anyway. But it does bring up a good point. You see this with the uh, blue shining crystals? Well, uh, we kind of need to get by here, but in order to do that, we've got to let that tilt a bit. Sorry, sorry, Victorian Kyle Calvin. Sorry, Travis McElroy. Sorry, Lynn we Manuel Miranda. We cannot quite reach those as we are now. Unless. can't quite reach that one yet. Actually, that reminds me. I had a technique that went with the Pelicus, didn't I? Yeah. 270, 270 bottom to top, top and then X. I'm trying to get that technique. It's not working. <laughs> I believe I speak for all of us when I say maybe I should stop. Sheeble. Ooh, cutscene. Well, well. Look at all the shards you've amassed. How does it feel to command the power of demons? Oh, pretty good, actually. I mean, I, I rather enjoy shooting fire out of my hands. It feels like nothing. Just power. And so long as I'm in control of it, human power. You're a fool if you think you can soak up that much of their devil tree and still call yourself human. I'm not the fool here. And I will never give in to you or them. Oh. 
Never say never, Miriam. A wild Alfred appears. I have you now, Chibel. The Libra Logaith belongs to me, and I shall see it returned. How are you still even alive? I take no orders from a dead man walking! You done it now! You done it made a big mistake! <sighs> and now you die. My next attack will not miss. And you will rest in peace. Master, you must conserve your energy for King Bale. So I must. You are lucky, old man. Oh, lost him. And now I just got these spells going up. Up that are just going to be wasted. I have to shoot it at something. Miriam, would you mind taking this powerful ice attack really quickly? Alfred, I won't let you use the Libra Logaith to plunge the world into... I must give chase while the trail is still fresh. Okay, so clearly uh, Alfred and Jeebel are on the same page. But if Jeebel's... If Jeebel's evil... And Alfred is opposing him. I uh, got, an got another uh, welcome company there. What does that mean for us? Hyperventilator. Plus two defense, plus two con, minus two intelligence if we uh, switch it out from our dance mask. A mask designed to push the wearer to his or her physical limits. I do believe that's another JoJo reference. I'm gonna backtrack here really quick. Just keep getting welcome company shards. Where does this take me? I'm still kind of in the clock tower here. Ether! And a bookcase in front of a door. Power Slash! A powerful one handed blade attack for the Ulf Bear Sword, the Hofud, and the Riddle. MP cost 20. Unfortunately, it's got that exact same uh, combination that I was trying to do with the Pelicus and failed horribly. So, um, I will try, but I will not beat my head against that brick wall very much. So, let's switch over to the old bear. Yeah, no, no. I told you I was not going to beat my head too much against that brick wall, and I am not beating my head that much against the brick wall. On the plus side, we're probably about... Uh, almost halfway to mastering Thousand Blossoms. Save point! If there's a bookcase in front of a door, more likely than not, it's going to be a shrine to our mosquito god. Or Seraphim Mothman, if you prefer. Because not everybody likes mosquitoes. I actually don't. I just like the imagery. And another transitional hallway. Livra Ex Machina. Library from the machine. Oh, 
Another butt case. No, nope, I was wrong earlier. There are actually two book cases that give us information that we already had. You could have put any other kind of information in this bookcase, but you chose to put repeated information that we learned in the very first area of the game! And teach us that we can shove uh, some of these bookcases out of the way. Sorry, Victorian Cloud, you, you, you had to die. How could I? Like this, and like that, and like this, and like that, and like this, and like that, and like this. That's how, that is how could I. Okay, so we gotta shove this over here, and slide, and chest, cookies! We have a new recipe for cookies. Cannot get up there quite yet. Kill that portrait. And once again, take a slice at uh, Victorian Cloud Strife. Now, you notice these bookcases in the background have like the glowing blue on them. So we can use the force to bring them to life. Unfortunately, some of them have monkeys in them. Yeah, unfortunately, some of them have monkeys in them, so, uh... We kind of had to get the monkey off our back. Emerald. Emerald Legacy. That was not what I was trying to do. I was just trying to bring the one out, not shut the other one down. There we go. And now we're on the top side of this. We can use that bookcase to hop up here. And sit down in the chair for a while. And head over here. And that's another big old thing, and I don't want to do that. So, be in this bookcase. We got just a seat with a portrait, probably one of the uh, bigger backers. And a crow mask. Two intelligence, slightly less defense than the dance mask that we've got there. And as you can see, it's kind of got the uh, Plague Doctor aesthetic for it. Spin, spin, spin the bookcase. Find the hidden spot. Uh -oh. Thank you, Bloodbringer. I <laughs> I am in danger. Sorry, Susie. Sorry, Susie, I think I need those worse than you do. Iron. Attack that portrait of uh, Erika Ishii. 
I do not know that these are actually what what these portraits are about. I am just kind of, you know, bullshitting. Kill a demon. Dentali. Oh, that's that's all kinds of disturbing. Kill the carrots more. Another Dantalian. Burn that book of the dams. And you can see there's some spikes down there. We do not want to mess with those. So we'll just take the carriage ride on over. Good boy, Bloodbringer. And a waystone. Just got some steps provided for us. How convenient. And there's a boss door right here. I'm pretty sure I know what that boss is for, but if there's a boss door, we got a bookshelf here. Half a year has passed since I studied some demonology, and I haven't been able to come to much more than a thought thus far. My old friend insists he has seen the Libelo guy as someone a friendly spirit, that I need only invert the rest. And yet, try as I may, scour the library as I may, I have not to show for my efforts. I cannot count how many permutations of the right I have attempted. My methods are correct. It is my materials that fail me. What is missing? Human sacrifice? No, I must try more catalysts. The crystal I discovered continues to grow ever so slowly. Watching it has become my sole joy. Bookshelf right in front of... A door right in front of a boss door. I wonder if this could possibly be a healing spot. The answer is yes, but uh, before we truck with that, though, we need to go back up a little ways because I do believe there's something else of equal importance that we need in this area. Uh, not in that direction. Well, okay then. Is there something I can help you with, human? Hmm. That aura about you. <gasps> You're a vampire! And a very familiar looking one! And what of it? Will you murder me for that alone? I've picked no quarrel with you. To be honest, I'm just waiting for a Japanese boy with a Spanish name in a few centuries. My name is Orlog Dracul, but you may call me O.D. I oversee this library, Miss... Spell is aimed backwards, and it's a Jojo reference. Miriam, am I permitted to take out books from this library of yours? Of course, Miriam. Although you would be my first human patron. The books here are magical tomes that impart power to their readers. As long as you are here, why not avail yourself of their boons? Okay. So now we can borrow books from the library of Ordo Dracul. We have the Might Tome, which increases our strength. The Sage's Tome, which increases our intelligence. The Sentinel Tome, that increases our constitution and by proxy our defense. The Believer's Tome, which increases increases our mind, the fortune tome, which increases our luck, cold stave tome, which increases our cold resistance, the heat stave tome, which increases our resistance to fire, shock stave tome, which increases our resistance to electrical damage, empyreal tome, which increases our resistance to darkness, obscurity tome, which increases our resistance to light damage, 
Corporeity Tome, which increases our resistance to being petrified. Immunity Tome, which increases our resistance to being poisoned. The Blessed Tome, which increases our resistance to being cursed. The Prowess Tome, which uh, makes us attack a little faster. The Ancillary Tome, which increases the power of our familiars, such as Karabas and Bloodbringer. Or the Deadeye Tome, which makes our directional shards that much stronger. I actually think that probably the best one to go with is the Fortune Tome to start out with. And there's a reason for this. We'll unlock the ability to borrow more books and unlock more books to borrow as the game goes on. But uh, especially if you're trying to empower the shards you've got or to get brand new shards, Fortune Tome is the best way to go. Because as you can see, it gives you a pretty doggone good kick up to luck. It gives you five points of luck. And uh, we've been doing pretty good with luck so far. So, um, it never hurts to hedge one's bets. So, we're going to take the fortune tome. Be certain to return what you borrow. This is a library, not a bookshop. Also, for those of you who have played the original uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night, Sympathy of the Night, sure. Symphony of the Night. Uh, yes, his voice actor is familiar. Why do you ask? And we head over this way. And this is what I was looking for. Our shrine to the Pied Piper of Hamlet. And the reason I wanted it is because I want to go back to Arentville because I am out of healing items right now. But also, we have a very angry woman to play Kate here. Got any targets for me? Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. Oh, I did not I did not get the Wolfman quite the third Wolfman. Never mind. Oh well, all in due time. Uh I'm actually gonna go back to Johannes because I well well I think I planted potatoes with that one guy. Here to plant something. Oh, I haven't planted anything with them. Well, I'm going to plant potatoes. Can you plant them? Sure. I'll get to work. All right. What was it that you needed, Abigail? Who are you, Miri? Getting by. The bat wings. Okay. Bat wings. Na 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 na. Bat wings. Na 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 na. Bat wings. Right. Get that money. Hi, Miriam. So, what'll it be? We cannot prepare anything quite yet. Because I don't have oil and I don't have ow, bail balls. Susie, I think you're going to have to wait for those fries a little bit longer. Uh, since I have a ruby, I can make flame rings. Since I have an emerald, I can make a thunder ring. I've actually got materials where I can make more Mithridates. But I think I'm good on those so far. Uh, fairy Dust, I can uh, give a little kick up to the Carabos. Carabos, will you do the Fandango? In fact, you know what? I'll do that. But first, Gargoyle Stone for the, uh, for the Kratva. I'll go with this. There. All done. Fun fact, this is actually the first time I've ever I'll gotten go to this. do a lot with the craft effect shot. There, all done. Oh, and I've got wood where I can now boost this. the welcome company. I'll go with this. I'll go with this. I have a very vested interest in uh, making sure that the welcome company shard is pretty powerful. You'll find out later on. 
But uh, yeah, let's let's use a tick of fairy dust to. Uh, I'll go with this. To uh, rank up our carabos. Ooh, I like it. And yeah, there's not a lot. We can if you grab. ever encounter a demon named Bale, run. I haven't, but I'm curious why I should. Although I did hear Kremery say something about King Bale. Because he's the most powerful of the 72 demons. A quick escape may be the only thing that saves you. Why are there only 72? <sighs> yeah, like, 72 is a weird number for a demon. There should either be, like, 666 of them, or maybe, like, 66 of them. Yeah, she still she still wants her uh, potato fries. I have something new to offer you. What are well, you looking to buy? What have you got for us, Dominique? Well, first things first. I need to get Is some more highlight. Really thanks. And I definitely need. Is this right? Then we have a deal. Potions. And a rice ball. What right. are you looking to sell? Is there anything I can afford to sell? Is the question I'm asking? Can I sell anything that I have got? Don't well, maybe the cursed ring. Have fun with your curse. Is this right? Many thanks. I don't fucking need that cursed ring, so I'm gonna sell. What are you looking to buy? Have fun. Is this right? Many thanks. By a few corns. Thank you. I'll be here. By a few corns. Now, well, since I've got some halite, is there anything Hi, to make now? So, what'll it be? I can make pasta and I can make bread. I can make one of either of those. I'll go with this. Great. And also make two more rice balls. I'll go with this. Great. And I've still got highlight spare. You know, shard research has advanced during the ten years you slept. How so? By using alchemy to add new matter to the shards, we can change their properties. They evolve. For example, an offensive shard's range may widen or reach targets further away. Ah, so they'll become easier to use. To put it more simply, yes. But I should make special mention of enchantment shards. They require a large number of materials to transmute, but they function similarly to skill shards. In other words, they work even when you don't have them equipped. That is quite an advancement. Nice little explanation about how uh, some of the uh, shards work. Oh, got another shard for bone toss. 
a little side trip into the uh, Garden of Silence here, because I really want to get some uh, buffalo oil. So I can make the potatoes, so that Susie can have her damn french fries. <laughs> And then we'll go back to Libra Ex Machina. Get a boss, get a boss, will you do the fandango? Uh, by the way, in case you were asking a question, no, Bloodbringer doesn't do anything neat while you play the piano. He just kind of floats there. Uh, our, our angry boy does not have much appreciation of music, unfortunately. Yeah, our, sadly, our angry boy does not much care for music. Thank you! I heard there was a secret song that Miriam plays, Carabas sings along, but Bloodbringer, you don't care for music, do ya? Yeah. Oh. 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 Yeah. Double kill with the Thousand Blossoms. I'm cut. <laughs> Call down hells and I'm cursed. Ah! Someone called Dan Hells and Dan Hells and I've been cursed. annoying. Oh, well, anyway, you're cursed. I bet Dan has some. that uh, healing spot very quickly. So I've already used my rice balls. More fairy dust. Kind of circled back around to where we started, didn't I? But that's because I need to show you something. No, not the winged bull. It's actually the pathway that we did not go at the beginning. The bridge of evil. We got a bunny. Carriage mark. It's a puppy! It's a puppy! It's a dead puppy. Blue shard! Bunny Morphosis! Those uh, Playboy Bunny enemies that we just killed, that were uh, kicking the life out of us, we can become them. 
And even better, if you're using shoes, that makes you stronger as a little. Oh. Allow me to demonstrate. Uh, we're going to switch back over to the Kung Fu shoes for a bit here. And, oh, oh. Switch over to the Bunny Marshall Shard. There we go. Of course, that drains our uh, LP all the while that we're in that form, but uh, uh, it's, uh, it's pretty neat. Pretty cool. It looks like the door is locked by a machine. Is something required to pass through? Sorry, Lily. Somebody call Mark Knopfler. I'm in dire straits. Bloodbringer. But buddy, you miss. Hi, I just noticed that they also use thrown daggers. They use thrown daggers, and they also use uh, a whip on occasion. Uh, I'm in dire straits. I need to get by this puppy. Fuck. Run, 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 run. Ah, God, I didn't think they would be able to hit me from that far away. I don't have any healing. I don't have time to mess with you, Karabots! Well, we basically accomplished nothing doing that, because all the healing items that I bought, we no longer have! What a Pyrrhic victory that little side jaunt was. And I didn't even get any Don't mocha me. oil! I found a gate that's locked by what seems to be some kind of contraption. Do you have any ideas how I might get through? Where was it? I saw what looked like a train on the other side. Well, I have heard tales of a demon train. One so prestigious that only a handful of the Brethren of the Dark may use it. Brethren of the Dark? Oh, you know, vampires and the like. Vampires. Oh, I met one of those! Want to have a look at my wares? It might give you an idea. What are you looking to buy? Is this right? Then we have a deal. It's not what I'm looking to buy. What are oh, you looking to sell? It's what I can fucking afford to buy. I think I'm going to be using the chain mail. Is this right? Thank you. What are you looking to buy? Is this right? Then we have a deal. I was able to get a Thank whopping you. one Come more potion. Anytime. I was able to get a whopping one more potion because I sold that chain mail. Are you freaking kidding me? I suppose you have a point, but... Huh. We're done talking. I must go. We're not 
done talking. I... And there he goes. There he goes again. Sorry you had to see that. He really doesn't like me, does he? Oh, he's just stubborn. Can I help you with something? Not unless you're willing to give me a bunch of potions for free. I have something new to offer you. Do what you are you looking to buy? What are you looking to buy? Is this right? Thank you. Thank you. I was actually going to tell her, oh, I found the vampire. But I guess not. Let's try that again. Really? In that case? Uh, her again. So you were just here, Zonketsu! Wait, you still haven't told me. Sorry, Miriam. Uh, it's all right. I'm used to it. The gifted ones are always the hardest to manage. So, what can I do for you? One more time! With feeling. As soon as I get my money. For a minute there, I thought Zangetsu was going to show up again. Remember, not to rely too heavily on the shards. Oh, well, I guess I can't tell him about the I can't tell her about the vampire yet. Thank you. I'll be here if you need me. Thanks for nothing, Dom. Let's talk to Johannes. See if there's anything I can make. It's good to see you. So, what'll it be? Well, let's see about shards. Oh, because I've got those uh, two lily ears. I can, uh, I can, uh, rank up the bunny morphs, I'll go with so this. I'm gonna do that. I'll go with this. And go I'll ahead and go put that this. fairy dust into the caribos. And, oh, I can make a high ether out of all the ethers I got. I'll, I'll go, go ahead this. and do that. More ether than ether. There, all done. Any food? No. Stop back often. I am the shot by none. All English we care. Level up. Alright, having done that, we're not going back into the Garden of Silence to try and get some more mocha oil at the time, so we're just going to go right back to Libra Ex Machina. And drop down. And say hi to our vampire friend again. OD, you seem to know a lot. How does one board the train here in the castle? That old thing. Why would you want to? I don't know, I just rather like traveling is all. Mm, because? You need credentials to pass through the station gate. I could give you mine. But I'm afraid your skin's not quite pale enough, and they know immediately that you're not me. Really? But the credentials must carry your photograph in order to be valid. I mean, your hair, your hair is fabulous enough, enough, and so is your sense of style, but it, it, honestly, the pale skin and the rose tattoo on your boot would give you away instantly. My what? Ah, that's right. Your kind hasn't invented photography yet. But, if anyone has come close, it would be the church. If you know any men or women of the cloth, they may be able to help you. Oh, and now, 
I have the ability to borrow two books. So in addition to our fortune tome, uh, you know what? Let's grab the sentinel tome. I feel like we need the extra durability because we've been taking a pounding lately. Be certain to return what you borrow. This is a library, not a bookshop. And before we go and uh, see about that boss, I am going to take another trip on the Pied Piper uh, Express over to the Dean Keck Cathedral, because if you remember correctly, we got that book that we need to go and hand over to our uh, Demon Barber friend over on Fleet Street. Uh, looks like Luigi found a boo. Fascinating. People do their hair like this. Todd has mastered a new hairstyle. Level up. All right. Let's see uh, what kind of lovely hairstyles we can get now. Flip around back to the beginning. Just got kind of this short, standard long, kind of a shorter style. I don't know, I think this actually uh, kind of works better with the mask, so I'm going to go ahead and go with the shorter style. We're going to leave all the colors the same. Just, uh, shrink it the down here. Suits you fine. Boop, and boop, and boop. And now we'll teleport back into Librex Machina. And we'll head down. Ways. And over here. And down again. And over into this safe spot, where we will pray to our Mothman Seraphim. <sighs> and in the next episode, we're going to go over to the next room over and uh, take care of the boss. So, until then, I'm Titania Bird. Until we meet again, later y'all.